Britain storms have created havoc all over the world, destroying commerce and causing loss of countless lives. of this disturbance, we face the destruction of the world. Tell you, Colton, the whole disturbance is caused by the variations in the orbit of the moon. And I repeat, Reynolds, not the moon, but the sun. Sun. Oh, don't be absurd. New spots on the sun could remain undetected. But something must be causing these flood tides and earth shocks. mind it's just a promotion scheme. I tell you, gentlemen, my instrument will not fail. I'm getting it. Gentlemen, I'll stake my life on it. The center of this disturbance is here. But that is unexplored territory. Granted, but that is where it is. That's absurd. To find nothing but jungle, rough country. I believe in you and your discovery. But what is the next step? To go there, find the source of this disturbance, and stop it. Go ahead, Bruce. Count on me for everything you need. You will lack nothing. The resources of the entire nation are at your disposal. Thank you, Commodore. Thank you, General. I shall prepare an expedition at once. If you succeed, you and all your associates will deserve the gratitude of the world. Gordon, allow me to become a member of your expedition. I have believed in you from the first. Thank you, Professor Rattle. And I, too, Gordon. And Dr. Cope. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now, where's your native? <coughs> Natives? All gone. <coughs> we were attacked by giants. <coughs> giants. Why, you were delirious, Chet. Let me get you another slug. I'm not delirious. They were like nothing human. They were too big. Too awful. Now, take it easy, Chet. Take it easy. Where did these giants, as you call them, take your natives? Into the jungle. Towards Magnetic Mountain. Ah, you were saying things. Forget it, my boy. Forget it. Forget it. Welcome, gentlemen. My name is Butterfield. This is my post. Bruce Gordon. How do you do, sir? Colton. Reynolds. Pleasure, sir. Jerry Delaney. How are you, Mr. Delaney? Will you come in and have a little drink? Thanks. This is Mr. Andrews. How are you? Gentlemen, make yourself at home. What brings you here to the heart of Africa? Uh, you may not have heard of the disasters that are wrecking the outside world. Hmm. What is it, another war? You may call it that. The enemy so far has been invisible, and that's what we're here for. Why to this part of the country? This is near the spot indicated by my magnetic detector. You must be speaking about that cursed magnetic mountain. What is this magnetic mountain? A mountain where the blacks... Why, are. there's a mountain near here full of iron. Sort of a natural lightning rod. Lightning rod? There are, there are horrors there you never dreamed of. Giants! Black giants. The biggest, most terrible creatures you ever saw. Oh, don't mind him. He was a victim of ordinary raiders. Raiders nothing. I tell you, they were giants. And they headed for the mountain. And that night, I saw it flare up like a thousand searchlights. I've got it. Jerry, go set up the detector. This mound may be the center of this disturbance. Right. Come on, Reynolds. Okay. Andrews, you talk too much. discharged enough electrical energy into the atmosphere to destroy a hundred cities. I'll have this cosmic condenser hold enough power to destroy the world. If I desire it, when I invented these instruments, I did it for the benefit of mankind. Yes! I brought you here to create the things I want. Defy me. And you know the consequences. Grosso, take Manius to his laboratory. Yes, Master. Ah, 
Apollo, stand by the enlarging machine. Yes, sir. something to keep him from creating more living dead men. My dear, unless I obey his slightest wish, he may injure you. Uh, we had better go on. Zolok is watching. for humanity. Put him in the brain destroyer. Yes, master. Come, we'll go. as I think. You must obey my command. You are my slave. Avalon, have Manius brought here. Yes, master. Dr. Manius? The enlarging machine is ready. Oh, Father. Father, must you obey? Nadia, my dear, we are in his power. Just be patient. Come, Doctor.
Your name is Fear. <clears throat> Garzo, the emblem of the lost city. Yes, master. Do as Garzo tells you. <clears throat> Take him to his quarters. Yes, master. Come. Have along. Bring another subject. Yes, master. how you can be so heartless. Zolak is my master. Why is he your master? He promised to make a man of me like other men. Big, strong. Yes. Make you a living dead man like those poor slaves. No, no. You'll see. Turn on the switch. somewhere in this neighborhood. Turn on the amplifier. Yes, master. Magnetic Mountain, all right. Just the place we're looking for. What about you now, Bruce? We'll start at once. Those strangers have located my lost city. They must be stopped. Get up along, quick. Yes, master. No, don't talk to me of marriage again. The master calling Apollon to the control room at once. You'll change your mind. Father. Father, Apollon's been talking about marriage again. Stop it here. I just had some big news. White men are coming this way. White men? Yes, yes. From outside? Yes. They're coming here? Yes, sir. Oh, if I could only warn them of their peril. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 Father. Yes, yes. They'll help us escape. Unless they also become Zola's victims. Butterfield must have talked. Butterfield? Ah, oh, he wouldn't dare talk. He wouldn't dare mention our presence here. You know why. What are your plans, Master? Trap them in the hut of the mysterious voice. Get everything ready. Yes, Master. Take a squad of giants and deploy them around the hut. And capture those white men? Yes, if they escape the trap. Yes, Master.
Come on. All right. Natcher, come to the control room. I'm not going. But you must. You better go, my dear. you fellas. We're on our way and getting close. Yeah, and getting hot. Bruce, I don't like the look of things. Andrews may have been right about the Giants. Too many of our blacks have deserted already. Just the same, we're going on. call for help. When I say go ahead, and keep screaming and calling for help. Help! Scream! Understand? Yes. Bridgie! Give your men a rest. Hold oh, up! Go ahead. Sounds like a white ghost voice. Help! Please help! Come on, Jerry, let's find out. I'll tell you what we'll do. So this. Oh, Mayuga, by the arms! What's the meaning of this? What are you going to do with us? <laughs> That must be the place. Come on, let's go. It's inside. Thought sure that voice came from here. Bruce, this is a haunted hut. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about Coney Island. <laughs> that cry was human. That laugh, the laugh of a madman. It's a nut house. I'm going to get out of here. Bruce! Where does that light come from? I need to do with that girl's cry for help. I'm going to get out of here. No, we've got to find that girl. Come on. Andrew spoke about. Look, there's more of them. 
Giants or no giants, we've got to find that girl. Subway, don't it? Yes, it does. Bruce, another door. Come in. Gentlemen, this is indeed a pleasure. May I ask who you are? My name is Zola. I'm the master of this place. Where are we? You're in the lost city of the Ligurians. As you may know, the Ligurians were master scientists. I'm the last of that race, carrying on the electromagnetic traditions of my people. Jerry, I'm right. We found it. What do you mean by that statement? Your electrical experiments have been causing disasters throughout the entire world. Well, then I'm beginning to accomplish my purpose. You speak as one who is familiar with electricity also. Are you... I'm an electrical engineer. Your name? Bruce Gordon. Jerry Delaney. Perhaps you'd like to look over some of my electrical equipment. Uh, yes, if we may. Have along. Have one of my slaves show these gentlemen the city. Yes, Master Zolak. Who go? Show these gentlemen around. Mm -hmm. I want that detector he's invented. And I'll use his knowledge for my own purposes. But he is not like Manius. There isn't a daughter to hold over his head as the threat master, Zolak. He'll do as I say, or I'll put him in the enlarging machine. I'll control his brain, even if I have to make him a white giant. Are you the girl that cried for help? Yes, but I was tricked into doing it. We can't stay here. You come with me while we have a chance. Yes, but how about that giant? Oh, he'll keep going. You follow me. Come. This is my father's laboratory. Bruce Gordon, Dr. Manus, my assistant, Jerry Delaney. Manus, in regard to those two strangers that just entered your laboratory, the man Gordon is an electrical engineer. How does he know we're here? Television. He's invented a magnetic detector. Is there no way to shut that off? I have short circuited him. Quick now, while we have a little privacy. Could he hear as well as see us? Oh, he has television so highly developed that he can see and hear anything within a radius of a thousand miles. Then he saw us at the trading post, operating our detector. Yes. How do you know he is not looking at us now? 
Oh, I secretly invented this instrument to shut him off temporarily. I was picked and delivering them here. We must save them. Forget that. We'll help each other. Doctor, we came here to determine what has been causing these electromagnetic disasters throughout the world. And now that you have found out, we're going to stop it. Yes, yes. We must. Master, here are the two men we captured in the jungle. Bring them in. Master Zola. Master, what shall we do with them? What do we always do with spies? We're not, not spies. spies. What brought you to Africa? Find the source of certain electrical disturbances and correct them. A very ambitious undertaking. Your information interests me. Gentlemen, sit down. Doctor, why haven't you and your daughter tried to escape from Dolok's power before? Only one man ever escaped from Zolok. This place is guarded by a hundred different death-dealing devices. Oh, if you can help us to get away, we'll be grateful to you for life. Where is this amplifier you told me about? In the powerhouse attached to one of the dynamos. Take me to it. It must be destroyed. Oh, this black giant has instructions to keep me in this room. I'll take you. He, he, he won't bother me. You'd risk this danger? Of course. I'd do anything to get away from here. What if Zolak discovers it through his television? Uh, my control will take care of that. Jerry, you stay here with Dr. Manus. We'll be right back. Ooh. If Gordon and his assistant are all you say they are, I'd better let them go no further. Avalon, join Gorzo. And have the enlarging machine made ready. Yes, Master. Magnus. Oh, stupid fools. To think they can match their wits against Zora, the master of the world? What have you done to my television machine? Manus! And you know better than they are. You're mistaken. We're not friends of Bruce Gordon. That's the truth, Zolak. I swear to it. Silence! Get out! Turn around! Gordon and his assistant. Gorzo, bring Manus and Natchez to the control room. Hmm. 
This is the new freezing gun I secretly invented. It freezes every range of etheric vibration. Light. Power. Life itself. <laughs> it's quite a contraption, isn't it? <laughs> Ugo, come. Dr. Manius, the master wants you. Well, he's not gone. Ogo, seize him! Control. Hugo, go to your post outside the door. The young electrical wizard. Thought you were smart enough to fool me, eh? Zulak, my efforts are for the good of humanity. And I'm not going to stop until I destroy this place. I'm going to do a little destroying myself. When I get through with you and the ivory hunter there, you'll be slaves of my will. Living dead men. Ah! <laughs> 
I'm so glad. Why, that was a narrow escape. It sure was. Now see if we can find your father. Yes, yes. Pepperlo. Zorak calling. I'm in the dungeon. Apollon, Corso, quick, I'm in the dungeon. Bruce, Bruce's father's gone. I wonder what could have happened to him. Oh. Where are you going, Master? I must find you. You wait here. Jerry, now I'll find your father. Come on, Jerry. Apollon. Corso, I'm in the dungeon. Why don't you open the door? You know the combination, it's your own invention. Who oh, are you to give me orders? I'm coming, Master Zoloff. What about us? Yes, will you stay here? I'll have you out in a minute, Master. Master Zolak! Master Zolak! Master! Master! Are you hurt? Master! Where's Master? I'm alive. Apollon, where are they? Gordon and Nangus. They're gone, Master Zolak. Find them and get those other two that just left here. Yes, Master. Gozo, to your post. Yes, Master. There goes Manius. Follow him. If we can get him out of the lost city, his scientific knowledge will be worth a fortune to us. Find them anywhere. Well, we've got to find them. Oh, Father. Father, dear, I was so worried. Uh, where is Bruce Gorton and his assistant? Well, they're out looking for you. Well, gentlemen, you've startled us. Are you perhaps members of the Bruce Gorton party? Yes, uh, this is Professor Reynolds. I'm Dr. Colton. I am Dr. Manus. This is Nadja, my daughter. We are looking for a way out of here. Can you help us? Perhaps. How? Through the tunnel. But, Father, the tunnel door is charged with high voltage. It, it means certain death. Not with my new freezing gun. It destroys high voltage, paralyzes all electrical energy. Fine. Let me have that gun. No, no, no. It's too dangerous. I must operate it myself. Where does the tunnel lead to? To the jungle. We'll go find Bruce and Jerry. And I'll go with you. And I too. Dr. Manius, sir, we had better stay here in case the boys return. Did you find him? No, Matt. Where's your father? Where's your father? He's in his laboratory. Apollon, bring Magnus to my office. Yes, Master. I want the truth. Have you given these strangers any information about my city? I'm no scientist. You can't deceive me. I'll get the truth out of you. Don't be a fool, Bruce. Can't you see that that girl's in cahoots with Zolak? We'll find out. Come on. <laughs> well, now what? I'll tell you. 
We'll go back to the laboratory. Perhaps Dr. Manus can tell us how to open this door. Come on, let's go. I'm going to photograph your thoughts in the record chart. And if you've lied to me, this is a devitalizer. Dr. Manus, you have made amazing discoveries. Yes, yes, yes. Come, Doctor. Bruce, Jerry, and Orber are waiting at the tunnel entrance. Nat just said not to forget the freezing gun. Yes. Why didn't you get the gun? Manius absolutely refused to even up his tears. Not a dear. Reynolds and Colton want me to meet you at the tunnel entrance. In case of error, meet me there. Not a dear. Reynolds and Colton want me to meet you at the tunnel entrance. Well, I guess we're lost, Bruce. This place all looks alike to me. We'll find Magnus's laboratory if it takes all day. Is it safe to go through? Absolutely. But my daughter and your friends, we can't leave without them. They'll be alone presently. Come. Where's Dr. Menus? Release me and I'll tell you. Speak up. Where is he? Colton Reynolds took him away. So you think your new friends are going to escape, eh? I'll fix that. Quick, Jerry, before we're trapped. Stay there in the chair and learn to speak the truth. Crowbar. That won't do the trick. Wait. Where's your light key? I don't know what you mean. Get down there. Well, I'll show you. Ah. Ah. Get him, Tony. Get down. Ah. Get him. I got it. Right got here. That'll ah. boy. Ah. Here we are. That's it. Now, let's get, get out of here. Reynolds and Colton take your father. Isn't he still in his laboratory? We didn't see him there. Only Apple on short. He was all tied up. Well, let's Come find on, father. Come Who did 
did this? Those two strangers you captured, quick and tie me. Apollon, Gorzo, attention. Manius just escaped through the charge door. Apollon, you take the giants and capture them. And send Gorzo here at once. Natchez, dear. Father left me a message. Watch. Natchez, dear. Reynolds and Colton want me to meet you at the tunnel entrance. In case of error, meet me there. Do you know where it is? Yes. It's at the end of corridor 10. Let's go. They've gone on. Then they're waiting for us outside. We must follow. Well, that's the freezing gun my father invented to nullify the electric charge on the door back there. Looks like it's broken. It is. Oh, it's no use to us now. Let's hurry. Come, we'll go. Dr. Manus. He's the one that's captured your men and made them brainless slaves. Me did it. Manus, I leave you to the vengeance of these people for all you've done to them and to me. But let me explain. Please. Silence! To the order of sacrifice. Avalon! Zolak, Holly! Avalon! Can I be of any assistance, Master Zolak? Apollon. Manius is being tortured at the order of sacrifice. Go. Rescue him. Yes, master. Come, we'll go. What are those drums? They're the drums of death. The drums of death? What do you mean, Natchez? Someone's being tortured by the natives. Let's hurry and find out who it is. Right you are. Come on. Hear me, 
Butterfield, if Manus dies, I'll destroy your entire tribe. Well, so we have company, eh? You cowardly renegade. Why did you have your black tack on? You're lucky you're not in the same spot as the old scientist. What do you mean? What has happened to him? <laughs> He's the guest of honor, a little ceremonial offering. But don't let that bother you. Let's drink to his health. <laughs> Oh, shame. I'll take a match. Bye, Doctor. Me. Is this true? What if it is? Butterfield, if you cause this man suffering, you're going to pay. <coughs> well, he tortured my natives, didn't he? My father was not to blame for that. He was under the power of Zolak. That's the truth, Butterfield. Ask them. They know. They were in the lost city. Oh. Come on, Doctor. Father. Butterfield, this man has got to have immediate attention. All right. Take him to my quarters. Come on, Doctor. You're all right, Father, dear. Here, Doctor. Let me get you. You want That's to take right. That's right. I tell you, Reynolds, Butterfield's a dangerous man. I know it. We must be careful what we say. All right. Listen here, Butterfield. Sit down. I want to have a little chat with you. So you were in the Lost City. What do you know about it? Nothing. Didn't you see him making their giants? No. We weren't there long enough. You're lucky. Show these men to the quarters next to mine. You'll be comfortable there. Thanks. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Are you sure you know nothing about the lost city? Absolutely. Of course 
you're right, my boy. Look, Bruce, it's just fit for... I think there isn't so far away after all. Where did you get that? Oh, in the other room in there. Well, it just fits. Yes. Are you sure, Doctor, that Reynolds and Colton forced you to leave the lost city? Yes. These men are not to be trusted. Yeah, let me tell you that Butterfield isn't our only enemy. Bruce, we must get away. Don't worry, Natcha. Come on, Jerry. What are you going to do? I'm going to talk to Reynolds and Colton. I'll be right back. We've got to get Manius away from here before Butterfield learns that he can restore the mental powers of those giants. Look. There goes Gordon toward the trading post. I wonder if Manius told him how we forced him to leave the lost city. We'll have to convince Gordon that the old man's out of his mind. We'll have to work fast. I tell you, I heard the old man say he could not only restore the minds of these living dead men, but he could make giants with full mental power. With a regiment of men like that, Africa is mine. Well, how's the old doctor? He's feeling a little better. That's fine. Can you tell me what hat I can find Professor Reynolds and Dr. Colton? Oh, yeah. They're over there. Thanks. Come on, Jerry. Say, what's the idea of fooling those guys? Colton's in that hut over there. You're so dumb. I get you. Africa. Oh, I know what you're doing. Africa. You. Get him from him. Get him. He's gone. Well, that's that. But how about Colton and Reynolds? I'll take care of them. I've got it. You fix it with the natives, and I'll get the girl out of the way. You know, Andrews, if I can get into the lost city and get Zolak out of the way, and then what? I'll bring the old man back with me, and I'll make all the giants I need. That's right. You could. Yeah. That's just what I'll do. Well, Zolak ordered me to report to you. He said you would find use for this paralyzing gun. Be careful. It is very dangerous. Stand by. I'll go to the village and get Manius. I'm so sorry, Dad. But it, it, it's much better than, than being with Zolak, isn't it? Bruce wants to see you. But where is he? He's at the trading post, pre preparing to leave. But, Father... Oh, uh, I'll stay here with him. Oh, I'm all right. You better go. Well, I won't be long. You stay here. I got an idea. Roll open, I think I can make it. Come on. All right, come here. This is your like a roll, oh, Jerry. You know the trail, Fungo? Yep. Come on up. All right, get it going. Fungo! Hold on! Gordon here? Why, no. 
Professor Reynolds said he was waiting here to see me. Well, he's not here. Well, that's strange. I don't understand. Chet, those birds are up to something. Come on. <coughs> Phew. And they call this Africa, huh? What a spot. Wait a minute, what's this one? You making any headway there, Jerry? No, just a minute. And that Butterfield's supposed to be a white man. Right, man. That guy's just yellow. Gone native, I swore. Yeah. What happened? Colton. The Nazis took nine years. Yeah. Get the natives. Time to pick up my trail. All right. Oh, well, you can get that other one. Hurry up. Well, yeah, maybe I can. Hold it down. That's good. Oh, boy. Here. I get over there. Mr. Butterfield. Mr. Butterfield. You stay here. Oh. Jerry, think of something. Hold Dinny or something. Come on. Better I can't get that last knot on it. You hit Butterfield Trail. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bruce. Reynolds is dead. What? Who killed him? Colton. Oh, and father's gone, too. Then Colton's got your father. Come on. No, you don't. Go ahead, Bruce. I'll take care Come of this. Beach coma. You bloody... Lead this way. Come on. Huh. Your father. I don't know. You remember when you're in the law city? Whose camp is this? Benelli's. Benelli here? Take me to him. Alaba.
Sit down. What brings you here this time of year? I'm looking for slaves. Giant slaves. Giant slaves? Well, what do you mean? I've heard that giants twice the size of ordinary slaves have been seen here. <laughs> My dear chief, somebody's been kidding you. You mean no such giants exist here? I have no reason to lie to you. Then my long journey has been in vain. It sure looks that way. Refreshments. Jerry! Rose! Where you been? I like at last. You find any trace of Dr. Menus? No, but I ran across this bunch of Arabs here. Maybe Butterfield's natives have found him and have taken him back to the village. We must go and find out. No. I better go alone. It'll be safer for you to go back to the Arab camp with Jerry. I'll bring your father there. Uh, Bruce is right, Natcha. Please be careful. For my sake. I will, Natcha. Come on, Mahala. Let's go. Come on. Mm. Have along. Apple on answering, Master Zolak. Where's Manus? I believe he's in the native village. Well, get him here at once. White man and woman outside. Bring them in. These people are friends of mine. The father of the young lady is uh, uh, an explorer. I wondered what such a beautiful girl was doing in a jungle. Apollon! Apollon! This is Apollon. Manus and Corso have been captured by the Arabs. They're in Zone 15. Find them. Yes, Master. Well, excuse me. I will be back soon. Say, what's the idea of lying about Magnus being an explorer? I had to lie. Manila is a slave trader. He's here to get the giants from the lost city. If he finds out that your father can create giants, he'll take him to the slave coast. Oh. speak to you privately? About what? A matter that may mean a fortune to you.
well? The old man over there is the greatest scientist in the world. He is the man who creates giants out of ordinary natives. So, my friend Butterfield lied to me. Butterfield? He's a dangerous man, Chief. He wants to get the old scientist for himself. I see. We can work together. Have the old man make slaves for us and become rich. My men will take care of you. Thank you. I have provided attendance for you. Thank you. My friend, one moment. Sit down. As you say, no giants exist here. They don't exist. I swear it. My good friend Butterfield would not lie to Ben Ali. I know. Of course. Oh, of course. Little more tea, eh? Thanks. No more tea. Will you have a little liquor? No liquor, sir. Could I have a little tea? A very well, sir. to keep you a prisoner, to make giants. I suspected as much. I have a plan. Bruce is looking for you. He has the light gun. And if I can find him, he might be able to help us. Be careful. We may be watched. What's the idea? <coughs> it is not wise to lie to Ben Ali. Matt? Sir. 
sit down. Tell me, how these old men make giant slaves? Manus alone has the secret. How do I know all this is true? I've seen him do it. How am I going to be taken care of on this deal? Oh, I'll show you. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> you asked to be taken care of. Go. What are you trying to put over on me? The same thing you try to put over on me. Listen, my natives know that I'm here. And if anything happens to me, they'll wipe you out. I'm not afraid of your natives. Do you know a man named Colton? Yeah. I know the double-crosser. What about him? Oh, my men are taking care of him. Try to double-cross me. 